Hey everybody on YouTube, this is uh, Mr. Five Summers back. Just want to do a quick video on a new product by Cold Steel. I haven't seen this one in a lot of places yet. It's called the Cold Steel English Police Truncheon. This is basically a police bobby or a nightstick that they it's styled after that, but uh, it's made out of uh, polypropylene. But I got it from this catalog, AtlantaCutlery.com. And let's see. As you can see here, they're selling it for, let's see, for 20, let's say $19.95. It's a pretty good price for it. And. When you call, they're usually on back order. I have been waiting on this one for probably about six weeks. And they finally shipped it, so. Now I've got it, and it's, uh, it's fairly heavy. You know, it's thick. I don't know if you, if you can get that. See how thick that is with my hand. Uh, I don't know what the diameter is. I'll have to measure it. It's going to be hard to do that. Uh. It's about, let's see, I'd say an inch and a half wide at the at the at the end of it, at the business end of it, and then it tapers down to a regular nightstick handle. Probably gets down to about three quarters of an inch down there, maybe. But I haven't opened it. And this is the packaging that comes in. It says English Police Truncheon. And you can see it's got these, all these, like old, supposed to be like modeled after old English, I guess, police stations, number 15. Then it's got the, the cold steel insignia, which is pretty cool. I thought that was neat. And then it's got the, I guess, the crown for the Queen of England up there or something. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, there's the packaging, cold steel. Gives the weight there. It's uh, let's see, weighs 17.2 ounces and length is 21 and a half inches. So that's about right for most nightsticks for 21 or 26. So uh, if you order real ones like an ASP or something like that. So anyway, I guess I'm gonna commence commence the cutting. And they, I hate these packages, so I'm just gonna use a regular box cutter style thing because man this plastic is tough <laughs> they don't want you in here I gotta be careful not to cut myself god this stuff's tough and i make this too difficult if i can get into that without cutting anything else Well, they make it to stay. So make sure you're not going to take it out of here real easily. I hate clam pack. Yeah. So I can use the strength of it to finish the job. I guess not. And I'm going to have to cut it some more, damn it. I swear. I hate this crap. I almost had it. Finally. What a pain in the butt. Oh, they put, they put a lanyard on. I can't believe it. it actually feels like real uh, paracord. Like real 550. So I, I'm guessing it. No, it doesn't have a it doesn't have a lanyard hole. But they've tied it on the end real nice. It's got kind of like a bottle cap end on it. But the uh, handle's actually quite comfortable. It's got this uh, kind of a grooved pattern in it. It's not too rough. I mean, it feels good. You could tie another lanyard or something up here or whatever. Just for looks. If you want to add some more color, maybe some red. Yeah. I figured a lot of people didn't know about this. and Like I said, the only place I've found it is in the Atlanta Cutler catalog. So... I think it's pretty neat.
So that handle feels pretty good. You can't bend it. There ain't no flex. Maybe just a tiny bit, but it's strong. This part up here is definitely not going to flex if you try to. Nah, nothing. So, yeah, the thinnest parts in the handle. That's the only place I'm probably getting a little flex, but barely. I mean, barely. So, yeah, I'd say that would do do a number on somebody. But yeah, that is the police truncheon. And that is where to get it. <laughs> so, if you're having trouble finding one, I suggest trying that website. This is a really neat, neat nightstick. I've always liked nightsticks, especially the old ones. I even like the ones with the handle on the side. But, yep, yeah, I'm not going to carry this one. It's too nice. I just probably just I'll put it on display somewhere. Maybe hang it on the wall. Maybe get some hooks or something. Who knows, if somebody, somebody ever broke in the house, yeah, then you might use something like that. <laughs> no, but, yep, just wanted to lay that out there for you and get, to give, get a good look at it, so. Might, this might interest you. Yeah, Cold Steel's doing some pretty interesting things. And Lynn Thompson's always designing something crazy. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, y'all have a good week. I hope you like this video, and I'll talk to you next time. See you.